Good morning, boys and girls. This week, we are going to be starting with a new sound, um, actually two sounds. Um, we have talked about short vowels. Now, let's remind ourselves what letters are vowels. Okay, so say them with me. A, E, I, O, and U. Those are the five main vowels. Same again with me. A, E, I, O, U. So we've talked about how they make a short sound. A says A. Ah. I says I. E says E. Eh. O says A. Ah. And U says A. Ah. So those are the short sounds. Then we talked about how those vowels all make long sounds. They say what? A, E, I, O, U. Remember, because they say their name. That makes a long vowel sound. This week, we're going to be talking about a new sound that those vowels can make. The two that we're going to be talking about is first A and R. Now, what happens is that these are R controlled vowels. We call this that because the R is what we call a bossy R. When R is right behind a vowel, it makes it's bossy and it makes the vowel say something different. And it is and, and I'm going to have up here, say, beware of the bossy R, because every time an R is behind a vowel, it is bossy, and it makes the vowel say something different. At the top, it says, I boss the vowels and control the sound they make, but I am polite, and so I let them go first. So these are called R-controlled vowels, because the R is what we call a bossy R. So when I say this, I look at this A and R together and it's going to say R like in star. Now think about it. When R is making a sound, it says R like rabbit. But when A and R are together, it says R. Now the way I code it is I draw a like a smiley face underneath that A and R. And that helps me remember that those two letters go together to make a sound. Now, there's certain words that have this A, R sound. Uh, the word like hard, H, A, R, D. Say this sound with me, ready? R, D. What is this word? Hard hard. If I have F, A, R. Again, right away, I look for the vowel and I look behind it. If there's an R there, I know that R is bossy and it's going to change what that vowel says. So it's going to say, what? R. What is this word? Far. If I have S, T, A, R. There's my vowel. I'm looking behind. There's an A, R behind it. So I know the A and R goes together. Sound it out with me. S, T, R. What is it? Star. I might also have A, R, T. There's my vowel, the A, but there's an R behind it. So I know that it's going to go together and say R. Sound it out with me. R, T. What is it? Art. Now, we're going to talk about the other ones later, but today I also want to talk about when the O and the R are together. Let me put my cap on my marker. So, again, you'll see some other ones on here, but we're just going to focus on that O and R together. And when that O and R are together, it is the same thing. That R is so bossy. No matter what vowel it's behind, it's still going to make it say a different sound. And this, when O and R are together, it's going to say or, like in corn. Say it with me, 
or like in corn, okay? And so I know the O, again, you're gonna look, where's my vowel? Is there an R right behind it? And if there is, I know it's gonna be bossy and it's gonna make that R, the, the vowel say something different. And again, when O and R together, they are gonna say or. What are they gonna say? Or. Now, some words that do this are like in the word for, not the number, okay? I see the vowel O, there's an R behind it, so I know these two are gonna go together. And when I sound it out, or, what is this word? For, okay? If I have C-O-R-D, there's the O, there's an R behind it, so I know it's gonna go together. Say the sounds with me, ready? K or D, what is it? Cord, cord. Okay, now what if I have S-T-O-R-E? There's my vowel, there's an R behind it, so I know the two O's and R's are gonna go together. Now what you'll notice is there's a sneaky E at the end. And so I'm gonna cross that out. So say it with me, ready? S -t or, what is it? Store. Okay, let's try one more. C O R N, there's my vowel and R right behind it. So I know it's going to say, say the sounds with me. K or N, what is it? Corn, corn. So this week we are focusing on the A R and O R together. We know that this R is called a bossy R. When it's behind a vowel, the vowel is not going to say what it normally would because be, because this R is so bossy that it changes the sound that it makes, okay? I boss the vowels and control the sound they make, but I am so polite, so I let them go first. So again, this week we're talking about the sound that you hear in the word star. Say it with me, star. Again, the A says something different because of that R that's right behind it, okay? And we are also talking about the OR sound. When I have the vowel O, but there's an R behind it, I know that that vowel is going to say OR. What's it going to say? OR. So this week, we're going to be talking about the bossy R with A and O, and those are the sounds, R and OR. All right, we're gonna work on reading those words this week. Hope you are able to practice those and do them on your Flipgrid on Thursday.